Father, in Jesus' name. Everlasting King, we exalt your name. We lift you high because you are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord Father, for the mercy you have bestowed upon us, even to gather together in your presence today. Lord, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. We thank you, Daddy, for what you have been doing right from the commencement of the service. We appreciate you, Lord Father, for the blessing you have received. Lord, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord Father, even for the time of the ministration of the word. Holy Spirit, come and speak to our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Let your word, O Lord, Father, transform our life in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. As many on their way come, O Lord, hasten their feet down here to be a partaker of what you have for us in your word in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Even the speaker, O Lord, Father, Holy Spirit, speak through her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your name, O Lord, be glorified today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That both the speaker and the era, Father, let us be richly blessed in your word in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because you have done Thank it. You, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to bless the name of the Lord for another moment in his presence. Bless the Lord for what has been doing in our lives since the opening prayer this morning. For what he did also in Nigeria yesterday. May his name be praised forever and in Jesus' name. Let's turn our Bible to the book of Matthew where we have our, as our Bible reading this morning. Matthew chapter 26. We want to read from verse 47. As we know that this week is our restoration week. Also, we are in the month of resurrection. Restoration, resurrection, they are still the same thing. And I pray in all the areas of our lives we are dead, we shall be resurrected in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to start the reading from verse 47, Matthew 26. And while he yet spake, that means he has been, this place is talking about Jesus, how he has been talking to his disciples. Telling them about his departure encouraging them to watch and pray. He was saying this after his prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. So, verse, we now continue from verse 47. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whosoever I shall kiss, that same is he, hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Jesus, he said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. As I get a daughter, Biositi so Biositi so lowo, wo Judasi, or Konino, Verse 50. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? That is, why have you come? Then came they and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand 
and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his hair. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that, that thus it must be? As your daughter, Jesus see we fun pe or Nitori kini what fi wa neba no ni neba no ni won wa won si gbe won si gbe owo le Jesu won si mu si wo okan ninu awon ti o wa pelu Jesu no owo re wo si fa ida re yo wo si sha okan tin se omo odo lori alufa wo si se wo si ke ni eti sonu ni igba na ni Jesu we fun pe fi ida re si ipo re nitori pe gbogbo awon ti o mu ida ni yo ti pa ida Shake it was she be a micole, cake baba me, who wants a fumini, who wants a fumiju, lead Johnny Mid and Gally Midjila law, Lodu Conoye, Shuba, a women more you at his share, see you fish, baby, yuri, yours, yuri. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a story we know very well. You die, son, say, Modara Dara. But we are not going in the story aspect this morning. The question is unto me and to you. In that verse 50. Verse 50, we want to take it again. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Jesus said, We fun pe ore ni sori kini wa fi wa. The topic is friend, wherefore art thou come or friend, why have you come? Friend, wherefore art thou come or friend, father, baba, mother, mama, brothers and sisters, why have you come? We thank God because we are still in the month of resurrection. And the power of resurrection, re resurrection is still very much at work. And it shall work in my life today. I say it shall work in my life today. It will work in your life today. In the name of Jesus. Friend, why have you come? Jesus asked Judas. Why have you come? To everyone that comes to the presence of God, he comes because of a purpose. So the question is unto you, why have you come this morning? Or why have you been coming since? What is your intention? The intention of Judas from where we are afraid is to betray Jesus. Is to deny him. Is to hand him over to the enemy. That's the purpose for which he came to Jesus. And that he did. But why have you come? Why have I come? Many people they come because of miracles. Many have been coming because of one particular problem or the other because they need solution I want to tell you assuredly that this month is month of solution I say this month is month of solution because the power of resurrection is still working miracles of any kind some people they are coming because of healing some people are coming because of children some people are coming because of they want to have a good husband or a good wife people they come their own is just to be coming and be collecting money 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 all the time some people they come of spiritual purpose to weaken to weaken people spiritually they come to be with 
reach other people. Some people come to cause divisions in the house of God. So my friend, father, mother, why have you come? We have some people that are coming just for coming's sake. Because their parents are coming, the children, they just do follow, follow, just to go and spectate. So what's the purpose of your own coming? There was a time we went to a particular church because of a challenge. When we got there, we continue. We continued. But I used to hear a, a, a voice speaking to me. No matter how long you stay here, if miracles are happening unto the other, not for you. I kept it within myself. I could not understand it. When will I come to a child of uh, come to a house of God for a miracle and I will not receive? That must be a wrong spirit, I said to myself. Not knowing that the same thing was coming to my husband. Later she, he called me and said, This is the voice I'm hearing. I said the same thing with me. That that means we have to leave this place. God's purpose in our lives and destinies cannot be fulfilled here. Most of the miracle we need, we cannot receive here. And the motive of going is not to really serve God there. It's because of the miracle we need. That's the motive we went. And we left there. We are now praying. Oh God, annoying enough of going here and there. Lead us to a place where we will serve you acceptably and at last make heaven. We continue to pray the prayer. God gave me the vision of this place. But I did not know the place. I did not know the man of God ever. Then we continue to pray. As God will have it. Somebody invited us. And when we got here, the prophecy came from one of our prophetesses by the grace of God. God, that the purpose for which these people they came here and have brought them is that because they may serve me acceptably and enter heaven at last I marvel I said truly God must be here because the prayer we pray at home and nobody heard we do not know anybody here but nobody was with us while we were praying this prayer and God now revealed it truly this must be the place where we will serve God acceptably and at last make heaven. So I was happy that my challenge staples. Once God has led us here, once God has led us here, we want to make heaven. And we know that the concerning the miracle, that is a settled case. At God's appointed time, God will surely do it. What am I telling you? I'm telling you my own purpose of coming here. I have come here because I want to make heaven. I know the miracle will still be done. And many miracles I receive from the presence of the Lord. I know it's still continuing. My friend, what is your own purpose of coming? Here? Since you have been coming, have you achieved the purpose? What is your own purpose? Since we have been hearing the word of God, what is the purpose? Are you only here because of miracles? Are you only here because of husband and wife? Though that may brought you, it may be because of that challenge you have come here by the grace of God. And I want to assure you, as you continue with us, as you continue to obey the word of God, as we've heard in Sunday school this 
this morning. I say your case is set to. Your case is set to. Then don't make that your that one your holy goal. Don't make that one that only focus you are focusing. Because of wife or husband. Or maybe because of wife. It's only the choir you used to look at every time. Because we came here because of a wife, and now I'm As a woman, go go on it. Don't let 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 it. The death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ this month. The purpose of his death and resurrection must not be in vain in your life. Last, Last week we were told the benefits that were attached to death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to plunk into the victory. I want to plunk into the blessing. I want to plunk into the power. I want to plunk into the authority. I want to plunk into fulfilling the destiny. That is my own purpose. I don't want the death and resurrection to be in vain over my life. God has not created you to remain the same. God wants us to fulfill our destinies. Have you ever visualized the death of Jesus on the cross of Calvary? Have you ever visualized the sufferings he passed through? Do you want it to be in vain? What is that thing in our lives that will not make us to be fulfilled? That is why Jesus died. That is why he resurrected. Is it sin? He wants to set us free. Is it part of that? He did our fulfillment. He wants to liberate us. That's why he died. That's why he suffered so much. They weaved thorn, crown of thorn. They forced it into his head. Blood was gushing hot from his cords. He was beaten. They pierced his side. Even the scourge with which he was beaten. The scourge. He was full of thorns. Sharp things. As they were beating him. The scourge will pierce his body because the thorn will enter his body and will pierce his flesh and blood will come out. He bled. He bled. That I may have victory. That you may have victory. Over sin. Over parts of darkness. Are you still in your sin still? That will not make the purpose for which you have come beat for miracle to be fulfilled. As we've heard in the Sunday school, in fact, we've heard so much about full obedience for us to possess our blessing, for the power of resurrection to fully work in our lives, to take us to where God wants us to be, to receive blessings and our blessings to become permanent. That is why we need to pray this morning. Enough of coming and only hearing. If you are sleeping, shout hallelujah. It's enough of coming 
receiving blessing and losing it. And people cannot see the glory of God upon our lives. He says, since the time you have been going, what have you brought forth? People, Bible say the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. They want us to manifest. manifest. They want to see what we carry. They want to see the power of resurrection working in our lives. They want to see difference in our lives and their lives as Jesus God has said. He said I will put difference between those that are serving me and those that are not serving me. The question is, is the difference manifesting in my life? Spiritually and physically. Is the difference manifesting in your life? the suffering of Jesus must not be in vain because it must manifest by force his death must not be in vain because the purpose for which he came must manifest forth in my life and in your life that's why all those evil purposes for which you have come that is not in line with God's purpose for your life for bringing you here that's why you must put it aside is and his resurrection the remembrance oh, must be a great thing in our oh, life our life must receive revival our prayer life must change our reading of the scripture must People change Obeying the commandment of God must change. If you are not the perfect will of God must come to fulfillment in our life. Even what the resurrection of Christ brought must manifest in our life. This is what I'm asking. And this is what I'm praying. 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 I'm praying. And this is what I'm praying. And this is what I'm See the purpose for which he came. To betray Jesus. If your motive is wrong, the power of resurrection cannot work in your life. Truly it started with Jesus, but he did not end where. He hanged himself at last. And he was replaced by another person, Matthias by name. Somebody else will not take my place. I said another person will not take my place. The position of the family is if you don't find where you know the other person will not be in the life of Judas. What is in the life of Judas? Before we go to pray, what is in the life of Judas? Before we go to pray, 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 a woman came. Mary by name. Ma Maria, he poured a very costly ointment upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 4. John 12. Verse 4. Then said one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him. Why was not this ointment sold? For three hundred pence and given to the poor. This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bare what was put therein. Last year, Sekerin, neighbor, no, 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 no,
Oun ni o si ni apo, a si ma gbe oun ti a fe se no re. He was a treasurer in the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. O je a kapo, ni nu je a jesu Christi. He always steal from the pulse. O man jale, ni nu apo. That is so an intention. That is so motive. He will not be contented. He will not be focused. He will be distracted because of money and covetousness. O si mo, o ti e ron bare, si yikuro ni tori o wo. You also do, don't you look into the pulse of the church don't you take something from the pulse of the church because you are in charge and nobody challenges you nobody challenges you is that your motive how can the power of resurrection be manifested how can the miracles that attach to it be made known he was covetous no wonder he sold Jesus why have you come to steal money so your own is not you are not heavenly minded but just after, after service just to go and see Baba and collect money just to see Zakai and collect money that's the purpose for which you are coming even when you have money for transport you just still want to that's suppose you are just coming. Boy, I run fast. I go 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 I go fast. I go fast. I Peteru. He had a good motive for following Jesus. But it got to a time when Jesus was arrested. The Bible says he was following Jesus afar off. Afar off. At a distance. Not very near. Verse 58 of our of our main text that is Matthew 26 are you following Jesus afar off no physically we see you here but your heart is far away from Jesus truly you are coming but you are not obedient your heart is far but at last, Peter, uh, Peter repented. He denied Jesus. He said, I never know him. Because of money. Because of worldly gain. Because of worldly pleasure. I have not denied Jesus. For mundane things. But later he repented. Why is Jesus saying this one this morning? He wants you to repent. He wants me to repent. In any way we are having ulterior motives for coming to the presence of God. If the purpose is ulterior, if it is wrong, the power of resurrection will not work upon our lives. We will not manifest to the world. People will not see Jesus in our lives. We will just be coming be going, be coming, be going just to be numbered among the multitudes. But as for me, I want to manifest. I want Jesus to manifest himself through me to the world. I don't want the purpose of this remembrance of his death and resurrection to go in vain in my life even this month. Friend, father, Mother, Mama, brother and sister, even you. Why have you called? Let's rise up on our feet. We want to pray. Why have you called? Jesus has died for you. Jesus has died for me. Even while we were yet sinners, He died for us. Bible says no one can die for a righteous man. Hardly can you see somebody in Romans 5. Verse 7. Hardly will you see somebody who will die for a righteous man. Even while we were sinners, he died for us that we may be free. He suffered a lot that we may be free. 
with his suffering and death and resurrection being in vain over our lives, it must not be so. That is only one thing we will be hearing from time to time, time to time. We want to go and pray. Are you not following Jesus afar off? Check your heart. Let me check my heart. We want to pray. Lord, draw me near to yourself. Draw me near to yourself. The purpose of your death and resurrection. I don't want it to be in vain over my life. I don't want it to be in vain over my life. Life. Open your mouth and pray in Jesus' name. I want a part of resurrection to walk upon my life, to transform me, to restore me, to destroy the part of sin in my life. That's the purpose for why Jesus came. Part of resurrection come upon my life today. The power is for salvation. The power of resurrection is for salvation. The power of resurrection is for restoration. The power of resurrection is for victory. The power of resurrection is for healing you have come for. Let's cry unto him. Let the power of resurrection let it heal me today. Let it deliver me from grip of sin. Open your mouth and pray. To confess, je to ti a Jesus yo. Ele she mo kun ni nure, o boni nu ebi. Asa lo bento wi re koja, asi pa la rantori he she wa. Ino ala fi awa bela rare ino re lo wo wa so asa lo bento wi re koja asa lo bento wi re koja ino re lo wo wa so ino re Jesus was wounded for that same transgression. Jesus Christ, I shall not burn it or The power of the blood can see avail for you. He can set you free totally from that sins you are struggling with. Is it because of healing you have come? Jesus Christ, through his stripes, we are healed. You can be healed this morning by the power of resurrection. So why don't you cry to him? The sin in your life that will hinder him. Disobedience that will hinder him. Lord, by power of resurrection, destroy him alive today. Let the blood of Jesus let him cleanse me and make me whole. Let's pray with our own hearts. Let's pray very well. Let's pray very well. I want to be more aggressive than before. Let's pray that prayer aggressively. Aggressive prayers. Purika siri kusoko mshida ba, rakurika siri kusoko mshida ba, purika siri kusoko kashiri kusoko mshida ba, rakurika siri kusoko mshida ba. 
Ura ka siri ko soko ka shiri ko soko ka shira. Let's pray aggressively. Let's commit ourselves to the hand of God. That God should give us the grace. The power, the grace to do to do the to do His, his will. The hearer and also the doer of His word. The power of the flesh cannot do it. But except by his grace. Let's pray that God should give us the grace. To do the, the do, to be the doer of his word. Rakuri ka siri ko soro ka siri ko soko bisi. Rakuri ka siri ko soko bisi da.